So everyone is having a problem. Okay. So next topic is methods. Okay. So what is methods? Anyone know what is methods? We have just done with the functions, right? Built-in functions. There are n number of functions. Okay. So we have, we have just touched upon few things which are uh, used very frequently. Okay. So there are even methods. So how to use methods? So methods are actually binded with the objects. Okay. If you define a class. Okay. So everyone understand a basic class, right? A class is like a user-defined type which has properties as well as I mean methods. So you create an object and you can access those methods of class. Similarly, there are different objects in Python like number, strings, tuple, list, dictionary. Okay. So I have assigned x is equal to hello. Okay. X is of type string. So string is an object. As, as I told you, an object needs to have methods. So we will see how do we actually operate with the methods. Okay? So there is an inbuilt function in Python called as dir. Okay? So what does dir does is it takes an object. Okay. Once it takes objects, it displays what all methods are available to be worked upon. Okay. So x is an object of type string. So there are different methods like ncode, ncmith, these alpha, whether the string is alpha numeric or whether the string is a DG or whether the string is a lowercase. Yes. So based on the type of x, you get these methods. So type of a type of x is a string. Okay, string is an object. So object has methods. So Python lists the methods. Okay, now you can work upon these methods. So I am using a upper method within a string object. Okay, I am just telling x dot upper. So x was in lower case. Once I do x dot upper, it does a upper case. So I have assigned the output of upper value to y, right? So my y value is hello with upper case. So what is the x value? It is a lower case. Okay? Why? It returned the value. It didn't actually do in place. Right? The value was not changed in place. When you say in place, it does within memory, same location, everything, it stores there itself. It didn't do that actually. It returned me a new value. It allocated a new memory. Right? There is another function called each digit. Okay, so I assign D with one to three, and it's returning true. 
Okay, so the value that is available in this is actually a digit. Okay. So, so if you see here, each digit return me true. So true is a boolean value, right? So you can actually, if you are trying to write a code and if you want to actually, if you are passing some values and you want to check in a piece of code that whether the input that I received is a digit or not, so that you can tell your uh, user that first this is this parameter is a digit. I am expecting a string value. So in those cases, these are useful. Okay. So I have assigned D with ABC and I am checking if that is a digit. It's not right, so it is returning false. So there is a problem which you have to solve now. Okay. Based on whatever we write about strings, the methods. So the problem is you have to write a function called as this string comparison. Okay. I str cmp write function. It takes two arguments, like two strings. Okay. And you have to compare and tell whether it's same or not. You have to compare basically using Python. And you have to return either true or false. Okay? This is the sample input and output. So you have to write a function ISTR CMP, which takes two arguments. I have given as Python and Python, okay, with the different case. It should return true, basically. So it should return true. And uh, the second, you can test with one more input. You can give just A and B, and it should return false.
So this is how you write if 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 else condition, okay? So if followed by a condition which evaluates to either true or false, okay? So if this is true, the subsequent statement is executed. If this is false, it comes into else, okay?
white room. Why is greater than E? Okay. What else? Why? Why do you think why is greater than E? Okay. Now, but you still have why, right? Okay. So it's not like that. It's actually it finds the length. So the length is more, right?
what is the value of output of this? So x is equal to 2. If x is 2, print x, else print y. There is nothing y, right? There is no y, so what is the output?
dictionaries. Okay? So, this is kind of an array. We can think of an array, how it is structured. Okay? So this is how you define the list. Looks similar to array, right? Right? <coughs> Looks similar to array, but you are seeing the values, right? One, two, three in brackets. So the type of the x is a list, okay? And list is an object. And every object has methods and properties. So let's see what what all methods it have. Okay. So list can store not even integers. It can store any kind of objects. Okay. And we can have multi-dimensional list. Let's see how to declare that. So, my x has value 1, 2, integer type. It has a hello string type and it has a item list of type list, right? So it has a list within a list. So this is a multi-dimensional list. Function, it works even on list. So what what happened? So it returned the length of the list, right? So one, two, three, and four. Okay. It actually didn't count. Them. It counted this list as an item within the list. So it's a single item. Let's see how to access the values. So, how do you access this? X of 0 gives you the first element, X of 3 will give you the last. So, how, how does it start? Is the indexing starts with the 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So how do I access this value? Three dot. Three dot. So how do I find the length of this? So this is a list, right? Within a list. So how do I find the length of this? Length of even modify a list. Okay? You are free to modify a list. So what I have done is I have assigned the first value to 0. So the value is 0 to hello and the list. Right? Let's say I want to modify this value. How do you do that?
ओके We have last topic uh, before uh, break. Okay, so we'll see how to actually take parameters from a command line. So we need command line inputs sometimes, right? Let's see how to do in Python. Okay, how do you do in? See anyone? Okay. Okay. Scanner for Scanner That is not standard input, right? How do you do from command line? Hit R C and Slash R R. Hit R C and Slash R R. So let's open up I. Okay, let's create a file. Let's write a piece of code in that file, and let's give some command line input to that file. Okay.
पैसा तो शुरू होता है Thank you. 